In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a new page in WordPress. This is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. There's a link to that in the description down below. If you find this video helpful, you're going to find that playlist super helpful. So make sure you check that out. If you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To add a page to your site, head into the WordPress dashboard, go to pages, click on it. You can click on add new up here or add new on the left. This was even part of a menu that flew out when we hovered over pages. And any one of those buttons, if you click those, it's gonna create a new page. So let's click on add new. And this is the new page editor right here where it says add title, we can add a title. Let's make a privacy policy page. So this is gonna be the title of the page. Here we start putting the actual content of our privacy policy. So our first paragraph says, this is a privacy policy. We hit enter, we get a new paragraph. Just like any other word processor that you'd encounter. This is the second paragraph, hit enter again, and you can create another paragraph. This is the third paragraph. That's how easy it is to make the actual content. If you wanna add pictures to a page, when you hover just right, you'll see a plus sign appear. Click on that, and right at that location, you're gonna add whatever it is you choose from this block list. And blocks are how the Gutenberg WordPress editor functions. You can add content via blocks. So if I look up image, we can add just a regular image, image gallery, a cover photo, media, and text. So images and text, images from Flickr, info box with images, and there's even column layouts down below. What you need to do is just try stuff and see what works for you. If I click on image, it's got a little placeholder box for our image. We can go to the media library or we can upload an image directly to here or we can insert one from a URL. I'm gonna to go to the media library. I'm gonna pick one of the images we have. You can also go to free images from Pixabay. Let's do that one actually. Let's add this rooster. Save and insert. That is a very large image. Luckily, I have an image compression plugin installed on the site. So it's gonna make this image size smaller and more manageable to load to make sure the website loads quickly. The compression plugin I'm using is called Short Pixel. There's a free version of it. I've got a tutorial for it in the card up above and the description down below. So you should check that out if you're worried about image sizes slowing down your site. And if you wanna know how to optimize images just perfectly for your site. Anyway, we have this image now added. We have our first paragraph, our image, and our second paragraph. Now let's say we want to move it. If I click on here, if I click on this down arrow that pops up, it'll move down below the second paragraph, click it again, and it's down below the third paragraph. So that's how we can move any block around inside the Gutenberg editor. And this tutorial is not about how to create blocks in Gutenberg editor, it's about how to create pages. So let's move on. We have more blocks we can add. Just click on the plus icon when it shows up, wherever you see it around, or up in the top left corner here, and you can see all the blocks. There's also plugins you can get that add more blocks. So there's lots of options for you to create a page. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. On the right hand side, you have more admin type options for your page. Is it gonna be public, private, or password protected? Is it gonna be published immediately or in the future, whenever you press publish up here. Is it pending review? Are you the author of the post but it has to be approved by somebody else? You gotta check that box. Save as pending, and then your editor can review the post. You can change the permalink. The URL slug is what appears up in the address bar to get to this page. You can change that right in here. You can add a featured image. You can allow comments or not. You can set page attributes. These will differ depending on what kind of theme or other plugins you have installed. There's Astra settings, in my case, because I've been using the Astra theme. There's settings for that, you might not see that. And then all you have to do is press publish whenever you're ready. I'm gonna save draft because I don't wanna publish this post, but that is how we create pages. And you also have the option of using page builders to create pages. So let's do that. Let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and let's go to pages and add new again. Now, instead of putting content down below here, we're gonna click on edit with Elementor that's the page builder we currently have installed. You might be using Divi or Brizzy or Oxygen or Thrive or any number of other page builders. They all have a button in here that allows you to create a page using that page builder. And so now it pulls in our header and our footer of the website and we can edit the page 
in the middle here. We can drag and drop blocks over so we can put a heading. Let's say I want to make this privacy policy again. There's our title. Click on these six dots, the grid up here, to add, let's add an image. Let's put the rooster back in there. There's our rooster again. Then we can add text by choosing the text editor. Let's write in here, this is my privacy policy. And there it is right there. And that's how we add content. There are lots and lots of tutorials specific to every single page builder you might be using. So just look it up on YouTube and you can find ways to add content and improve your pages in any way you want using page builders. If you found this video helpful, you're definitely gonna to wanna to check out this playlist right here. It's the WordPress basic skills playlist on my YouTube channel. It'll answer lots and lots of WordPress questions for you. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.